So I just reset the air pressure in all my tanks because I just changed the uh, cut on pressure of the well pump. So I have them all set at 38.5 and it's probably going to drop a little bit when it gets hit with cold water. And the, the pressure switch is set for to cut on at 39. It's cutting out at 54. Uh, I adjusted the uh, the small screw, basically relieved all the tension off of the small screw so that now instead of a 20 psi split I have a 15 psi split and then I just adjusted my cut on and cut off with the large screw. So because I have three tanks I don't mind the fact that I only have a 15 psi split and I don't mind the fact that I have less capacity per tank because I have a higher cut on pressure, a higher cut off pressure. So you cut, you know, basically you're talking 15 gallons of capacity in these three tanks. So that's perfectly fine. So basically when I reset the air pressure in these tanks, I had to collapse the water bladder, which stirs up all kinds of sediment. And I accidentally ran some water backwards into my filters. So I had to take my filters down, I had to rinse them off. I got the whole system here full of air, and, and now all the water that's in here is full of sediment. So before I open up the main valves to let this water into the rest of the house, I want to try to flush it out. So the way that I did that is I hooked up my well pump onto a remote control outlet which I control this way and basically when you kick it on you can see your pressure reading it's about 39 right now so you just kick it on for a minute to get some water in these tanks and to expand the water bladder and then you can drain the water off if you have a drain valve on your on your tank you can open that up and drain all the pressure out and all the air bubbles and all that good stuff each one of these has its own drain and of course, once that's done a few times, you're usually going to be kicking up sediment every time you do it. But if you fill up the bladder, it'll expand it, and then you open up the valve to drain it out, and it'll collapse the bladder down, and you're going to stir up some sediment every time. So if you do that a bunch of times um, on each tank, try to get the majority of the sediment out of there. But no matter what you do, there's going to be some sediment on your first refill. So you can, once you have the tanks completely refilled, some of the sediment will set to the bottom over time but you can actually fill your tanks and then drain the majority of it out and then without actually letting the water bladder collapse and then refill it again let the sediment settle and you should be good to go of course your filters are going to take a little bit of a beating on that first couple runs so I'm probably going to just keep my filters out for the first couple runs and also this one you can just set it on a bypass and take your filter cover right off this one only has on and off so I just have an empty container in here to let the water pass through without getting my filters all dirty. The filters are only, I think this filter is it's a 5 micron sediment filter, it's only 2 bucks. Not a big deal. This one is a carbon filter that's about $4.50. So not a huge deal if you get them clogged up, but I like to try to avoid it just for good practice.